Hello YouTube, Luke 5 here, and welcome to the first of your redstone tutorials in this series. So, today I'm going to be going over the very basics of redstone. I have done a few redstone tutorials in the past, but I'm just going to be redoing them. Okay. So, redstone is basically like wire. You get it from those shiny blocks that take too long to mine, way deep underground. And... So it looks like this when you put it down. Just and if you keep putting it down it goes into a line like that. So you can use redstone to power things like doors or TNT or uh minecart tracks, booster tracks for minecarts. Stuff like that. Anything that opens. The only way to open iron doors are, is with uh redstone. Well you can just put like a pressure plate right next to it or a button or something, but you get the point. Anyway, so this redstone right here is in the off state. When I put a redstone torch down, it'll be in the on state. So redstone torches power are always on, and they power everything around them. And I guess they're not always on. They're always on until you turn them off. So they can be turned off with redstone. So right there, see it's powering everything. And redstone travels for 15 blocks, and the further you get away from the source of the power, the dar or the uh, the darker it gets. Yeah. So as you can see, I'm out of redstone. As we get farther away, it gets darker. It gets darker. So it runs out like right there. Or something I don't know exactly where. So let's just pick all this back up. Okay, and recently, I guess a while ago, 1.5 update, Notch added something called redstone repeaters. And redstone repeaters are, well first I'll show you, this is a lever. It's made by putting a stick in the bottom and a cobblestone on the top. No, it's cobblestone on the bottom, I don't, I don't remember. It's combination, it's either cobblestone on the bottom or cobblestone on top. And, yeah. But anyway, when you, when we put this switch on, the door opens because it's powering the redstone. When we turn it off, the door closes. So a redstone repeater basically changes the amount of time it takes for the current to get to the door. So right there it's almost instant. But if we right click and set it on the high setting, it takes a while. So what if we do it on the high setting here? It takes a little bit longer. What about lowest? pretty fast. So what about if we do the highest on here? And by the way, this will still power this. It powers everything around it. There's just no redstone on either side of it to make it align. So. Takes a pretty long time. So redstone repeaters are fairly basic. I like the old way repeaters though a little bit more, which I will show you now. So... Let me turn flying on and fly over there real fast. Okay, so what these are called, these are inverters. And they basically invert the power. Hence the name. So again, here's a normal door. And then right here, you can see the switch is down and the door is closed. If we put this switch along with the other switches, and now they're all up, the door opens. And that's because we have inverted the power right here with this redstone torch. down, closes, up it opens. So, this is how, to make an, in here I'll just make one over here. So you want to make an inverter, you just want to put a block down, put your lever, you don't have to have a block, but you just have to have like a lever or something, and then put your redstone going from it, and then put a block, and make sure you put your redstone torch on the side opposite the power. So if if we put it here and then 57 doors, I know I hacked it in. And then uh, turn it on, it's not going to work. You have to put this redstone torch on the side going towards the thing that's being affected. In this case, the door. 
When it's down, the door is closed. When it's up, the door is open. Okay, so right here, I'll get rid of this real fast so it doesn't get confusing. It takes so long to mine. Okay. And I love single player command, it's awesome. This right here is a double inverter. So it basically inverts the power twice. These aren't very useful anymore. They were, um. They were useful before redstone repeaters came out because you can only go 15 blocks, so this would was what you would use after 15 blocks. Or you could just use a couple of those along the track. But this basically just inverts the power twice. And it's the compact version. So as you can see, the power goes into this redstone torch, and then it goes to this redstone torch. And these are in different states. So this one is going to be the same as this one because it's inverting the power twice. It's basically two of these. So as you can see there, it's going to be the same here. And it takes a little bit longer because there's a little bit of a delay for each redstone torch. Okay. Let me check something around one sec. Okay. So finally, for this basic Minecraft tutorial, we're going to be going over the OR gate. Basically what the OR gate is is um you you give it one input and the output is on so any of the if i hit any of these inputs the output is going to be on so the door opens if i hit any of these oops so this is the uh, most basic version but if you want it to have like wires going into there then this is how you do it these things on the top if I get rid of the, if, if I get rid of the redstone on the top it's not gonna work and why is that let's see it doesn't work and that's because you have to have something going to the redstone torch in order to turn a redstone torch off you have to have redstone going to it like this so if I move this over one my blue cloth and my buttons. If I do it like this, oops. If I do it like this, I don't need something on top of here. You only need something on top if there's a block right next to the redstone torch, like this. Like one away. Two away, I mean. So put the block there and if you can't get something to work that might be the reason why so I got stuck with the T flip flop a long time ago because I was putting the button like this and it wasn't working and that was why so if we get rid of this when we turn the uh, lever on the state here changes but the torch doesn't change so you need that just remember that okay so that's all for this tutorial Next time will be like the end gate, maybe some other gates, and eventually we'll just keep uh, getting more and more advanced, and I'll be teaching you more and more things. Anyway, I hope this helped you, and thumbs up, and I'll see you next time.